Hey guys, welcome to my home studio again. In this video, me and my Logic guru friend, Josh, are going to show you how to program preset and snapshot changes on your Helix using Logic Pro X. So you may ask why you would need to do such a thing. Nowadays, lots of bands perform with a backing track. The backing track typically is played from a computer, a MacBook, Right, so your MacBook Pro can take care of your sound changes as well. So you can concentrate on the playing as opposed to tap dancing and switching your sounds. And uh, it's really convenient. You can, my approach once again is to have my presets correspond to each of the songs that I'm playing. And the snapshots are all the different sections within each song, for example, intro, verse, chorus, guitar solo, feedback, and so forth. So first of all, to set this up, let's take a look at global settings on the Helix and configure the MIDI channel. The MIDI channel is, we need to decide on a specific MIDI channel so that the computer and the Helix can communicate on that one channel. So click this button. This can take us to the global settings and within the global settings, we can navigate to MIDI. And here we can select the channel. For this example, we'll be using channel four. This is the channel that we'll be using to communicate between this piece of hardware and my MacBook. Also, I'm using, instead of a MIDI cable, I'm using a USB cable. See, it's a long cable that is plugged in the back here, and it's going into this USB hub. Okay, this is how you use your Line 6 Helix to receive and send messages to your DAW. In this case, we're using Logic Pro. First thing you want to do is open Logic. You're gonna see this dialog appear. So choose a track type. We're gonna choose external MIDI. We're gonna set the MIDI destination over here to four. Helix dash four. Hit create. And the reason it's four is because on the Helix we selected the MIDI channel to be four. Yeah, and the hardware you have to do this to reflect. Now, I'm gonna click this track, this MIDI track. I'm gonna go on to this, where it's in the inspector, where it says track. We're gonna click this little disclosure triangle, make sure the MIDI out port is set to Helix and the MIDI out channel is set to four. If you don't see this inspector, it's this little eye right here. Okay, so now that that's set, we're gonna to go to our MIDI track and we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some program changes. So how to make a program change is like this. You go and you're gonna make an empty MIDI region by changing your pointer tool to your pencil tool and make a MIDI region. Now you have to go to the event list. You can do it by going and clicking these three little lines here, or you can just press D on your keyboard. Okay, that opens up this event list. So for that MIDI region, this is the event list for that MIDI region. What you're gonna do is right next to this plus button, yours might say notes. You're gonna click this, and you're gonna go and change this to program change. Now, you're gonna add with the little plus button a program change. So here's the program change. All you have to do to change a preset, that's what the program change does, it changes the preset of the Helix. You're gonna click these little disclosure triangles here, a little drop down menu, and you can change depending on the number of your preset in, in Helix, that's gonna correspond for, for this number. So let's do a little example of that. This one we're gonna start with one, then we're gonna Hold Option and drag and make another MIDI region. Change this to the pointer tool so we don't make too many of these. Okay, now I am highlighted on this MIDI region. We're gonna go also make that program change. And as we can see, there's one there. We're gonna change that to two. So now this should reflect on the MIDI. It should change the presets. So here we go, here's the first and the change is coming up right about now. Right. Uh, did it work, Diva? Yep. 
Nice. Okay, so that's how you do presets through program change. Now let's say you want to do controller assignments. What you're going to do is I'm just going to make another MIDI region. Same thing here. Make sure it's highlighted. Look in the event list. Instead of a program change, I'm going to change this to controller. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add with the plus button another change. So this is what you have to change. You have to set this number value to 69. That's how it speaks to the computer. That's how the line six 69. There you go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to change the value from zero to seven on which corresponds to the buttons of each snapshot. So right now we're going to have this on one. We're going to make a copy of this region here. And I'm just going to change this one instead of one. We're going to make this value two. So now the helix should reflect this. Here's the first and the change. Yep, success. Great. So that's how you change. That's how you change the the MIDI output. These MIDI regions will output output changes, event changes to the to the line six helix. So you can either, if you're changing presets, you just want to have this to be under program change. If you're if you're changing with uh, with snapshots, you want to have this set to controller. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, so um, basically in the beginning of your backing track, right, uh, as, your, as your backing track is playing, in the very beginning, it will send a MIDI message to send your preset to the correct preset number. And as the sections of the song are, you know, starting, it will switch to the correct snapshot. The only... Uh, word of caution is that if you manage to reorder your presets, then you need to redo your MIDI uh, track. Or you may want to have a separate folder in your Helix with presets that are automatically invoked so you don't reorder them as you set up your set list. Yeah, and if you were like me and wanted to stay organized, I would hit Command D to duplicate this track and I would call one um, presets and I will call the other one snapshots. So this way you can kind of have a track for each each of those changes so you can stay a little organized. Well, let's play everything uh, back from the beginning so we yeah. could see the helix so the first changing. two you're going to see are going to be program changes, also known as preset changes. Mm -hmm. The second two are going to be control changes, also known as yep. snapshot so. changes. So here we go. And a change coming up. Yep. All right. And here's a controller change. Yep. And another. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Great job. Hey, yeah, it was fun, man. <laughs>